Hey guys, Jules here. I have a little bit of a treat for you today. Um, this is a poem sent in from Terry Hennessy. She's a subscriber on this channel, and some of you may have seen it, but um, it, she said it was a few years ago, so I'm going to say that sometime in 2018. And that's when kind of God started giving me a lot of visions, and I think I've I've heard and talked to some people that he's, um, you know, the Lord started kind of shaking some people, shaking the, you know, the trees and, and um, getting them awake around that time frame. But uh, this is a great, I mean, when I read this, the Holy Spirit was speaking to me and said, this is it. And <laughs> I tell you what, I, I just feel something just welling up inside me every time I read it. And I thought, man, you know, this is so good. And I'm not a very good poem reader. I, I've maybe written a couple poems in my whole lifetime. They weren't very good. I'll just tell you that right now. But this is just this is great. She said that the Holy Spirit led her, Terry, Terry Hennessy, the Holy Spirit led her to write this poem sometime a few years ago. So I put it in 2018. So here it is. And, you know, hopefully you forgive me if I I stumble over some words, but um, it's pretty awesome. And, and I think it really speaks to, this is what God has been showing me too, where we're headed. An apostolic is coming such as in the days of Acts, this time in the spirit of Elijah, and nothing will they lack. 144,000, a vast number to behold, amazing tales of wonder and force. In the Bible, they are foretold. To empty one of self-desires and ambition, we let go. To be made part of the kingdom plans, only God's will we need to know. A hidden cry, a Joan of Arc spirit. You're in, an, in you're an end time warrior. Make my God, I now hear it. You've been trying to wake me to the reality of the time, the rise of the fearless army. I hear the calling bells chime. Your warriors have come to know truly who they are. They hear the voice of God and the sound of His shofar. Trumpets blast in the sky. A reminder of its nearness. The time is so close at hand when you will take your dearest. They will train as God's army in the leaping hills of Bashan. They will sleep on the hardened ground, all comforts a thing of the past. They will master courage and bravery bestowed with great strength and might, yet their love for the lost will lead them into the darkness of the night. They will fight in the enemy's kingdom, and victory will will they see. With miracles and great wonders known as heroes they will be. Yet those who deny him laid to waste will they be. For the vulture to, to devour dead man's bones will they see. Throughout the world they will rise up and set a revival in motion. To lead all those who are lost sheep and bring them into the notion. Of a God who loves and wants them, they will see the error of their ways, and then at the last trumpet blast will all be caught up and taken away. To a kingdom we will go where tears and sadness are no more, no fearful thing to haunt us nor memory of a life before. The groom comes from his chamber, and the bride as white as snow. He sees her adorned in beauty, a brilliant and striking glow. They gather all the peoples as guests. They happily sit and join in the celebration. The day is here. This is it. The wedding supper of the Lamb, our eternity starts now. An exploration of his kingdom for millions of years. Our lips declare, wow. <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. So thank you, Terry, for sending that in. She gave me permission to post it. And it was just too big to post as a post. But I thought, you know, this is this is worthwhile. This is really good. Hope you enjoyed that. God bless everyone. Jules out.